To be very clear, I'm for it. I think it's a phenomenal idea. And I'll, I'll tell you exactly why. You know, they, they'll say that the streetcars are great because, uh, one, they're low to the ground, or in fact, they're even with the ground, so uh, a disabled individual can easily get on and get off. Two, it's, it's a wider aisle. And three, it is a smoother ride. All those things are great. But that's actually not the reason that I'm for them. The reason I'm for them is the cool factor and the investment that it will trigger. Don't you want to be able to say to your friend who's visiting from New York, fly into MSP, take the light rail down to the Nicollet Avenue stop, hop on a streetcar, and I'll meet you for dinner about 30 minutes later. That's the kind of stuff that makes a city dynamic. That's the kind of stuff that makes a city thrive. Not to mention, if you look at the other cities that have invested in streetcars, and it'll cost, by the way, about between 160 and 200 million dollars, but they've seen over a billion dollars worth of investment along those corridors. Over a billion dollars. Think what that would do to the areas that are struggling right now. Think if we had, and by the way, the, the present streetcar line, it's looking at going somewhere in, uh, in South Minneapolis on Nicollet Avenue, down Nicollet, uh, it'll get to First Street on the river, make a left-hand turn, make a right on Hennepin, across the Hennepin Avenue Bridge, left on Central and out some undetermined distance. Think what that would do to the areas out further on Central. Not to mention, if we put a streetcar on uh, Washington and 3rd Street downtown, think what that would, good, that would do to North Minneapolis. We need to be thinking about the city as a whole. And streetcars, streetcars would benefit the city as a whole.